you know Mr. Wonderful how to make his valiant return to the FC Sneaker Factory because it is December 19th. We are actually five days away from Christmas. Can you believe that? Christmas is already upon us. And of course, Mr. Wonderful had to make his valiant return with that moonlight shining bright through the FC Sneaker Factory window upon yours truly and upon all these shoes because I am in the FC Sneaker Factory. But you know what? What I wanted to do is I'm not going to do a new sneaker profile. I'm actually going to do a sneaker profile remix on shoes that I've I brought to you back in September. September 2nd, 2022. So I'm going to bring those shoes back because you know what? Those are Christmas related shoes and those shoes. I feel like they deserve that beautiful light to shine bright on them again because I'm sure you people out there, the fellas oh, and those beautiful ladies, oh, that I call my cheerleaders, have forgotten about them already because it's already been, what, over a year since I brought them to your beautiful eyes. But you know what? This live, actually, I did a, I should say, I did a live back on December 9th of 2021. So, I mean, that was a long time from now, but that's when I was originally started my channel. I started doing those lives every Thursday and I said, you know what? I moved away from that because I was getting no traction, but even now I'm still not getting any traction, but whatever. But I wanted to just reflect back on because that's when that first live, that's when I brought these Christmas related shoes to your eyes from the FC Sneaker Factory. I mean, if you remember the thumbnail, I was hanging like an ornament on a Christmas tree. So it was just a very long time ago. But since then, I, I mean, the channel has changed. I have changed. I don't deliver that soft, you know, very reserved Floyd, Mr. Wonderful vibe to you. I'm actually myself. And this is how I am. But of course, I'm always dressing nice in front of the camera. I am wearing a nice Carhartt nice green pocket tee and then i am wearing some nice rag and bone um they're kind of like a more like an army-ish greenish color but also on that beige side so they just look amazing i mean i look amazing of course mr wonderful feels amazing so i'm always looking presentable in front of the camera but i wanted to do a sneaker profile remix on some shoes that i feel like you know what the light deserves to be shining bright on them once again and on some of these shoes it's been a while it's been a while since i brought them out and to be honest with you i haven't brought them out a lot of them since that that profile that i did back on september 2nd so of 2022 this one right here though this was actually sneaker profile 65 from way back in our archives so let me go ahead and bring this shoe out. Let's go ahead and take a look at that beautiful box. Let's go ahead and reflect back from that September 2nd, 2022 profile. And like I said, currently we're five days away from Christmas. Hopefully you are having a blessed December leading up into Christmas. I hope everything's going well for you beautiful people out there. The fellas and of course, oh. My beautiful ladies that I, I call my cheerleaders, the one that gets that always get my heart pumping. So let's go ahead and take a look at this box right here. Great box. Okay, so <laughs> this year um, we are going to be talking about the Nike Air LeBron, the 7. And this was that Christmas colorway way back when from this one. Because this is actually the original shoe that came back from the 2009 year um, but let's take a look at the box and then we'll go more into the details about the shoe and everything but great box this is one of um, one of probably one of the nicer box when it comes to LeBron because this one had a lot of like old school pictures and just um, you know Cleveland stuff like that the streets and all that great stuff on the box this is kind of what happens when you have a lot of shoe boxes stacking on top of shoe boxes you know, the lid uh, starts to cave in a little bit. But, I mean, still a strong box. I really like this box because it was really strong. But let's take a look at that tag right there. So, this is the Air Max LeBron 7. That beautiful size 10 and a half. This is that Team Red Metallic Silver Black. And it looks like this says H10. 
T R D. I don't know what that means. But this is the Christmas LeBron from back in 2009. This is when um when sneakers or I should say Nike they were actually man they're giving us some amazing Christmas uh, basketball shoes at this time you know we had the Kobe's we had the LeBron's all that stuff so they really blessed us at this time but even there you see that you have we do our we are looking at that nice LeBron signature tissue paper so that's a pretty cool touch on that the box is is pretty cool as far as um, the stability of the box still in great shape after what 2009 so this shoe okay so i originally purchased this on ebay i did not get this for any type of resale purposes or i'm, I'm sorry for retail purposes this was strictly an ebay pickup and this is a shoe that i wish i would have just waited because i want to say i i can't tell you the exact date that i purchased it on but i want to say it was well well after 2009 this was one of those lebron shoes that i picked up later on um, but I want to say I'd never wore it. I wore it actually probably like maybe before that the retro of this one came out and now the retro of this shoe came out back in 2019. So I want to say I wore it maybe for the first time a couple weeks before the actual drop on that date. So that just tells you I wish I would have waited because I remember I paid a pretty good penny for these. Um, I want to say maybe around like three to four hundred dollars and i could have just waited and got it for like half that price um i don't remember this shoe back in 2019 like flying off the shelves i'm sure it probably sat around so i'm sure i'm pretty sure that i could have probably just got it for retail price but this was one of those mistakes that i made the shoe was released back in 2009 and then they did that 10 year anniversary and brought it back to us in 2019 but let's take a look at this gem. Regardless of the time frame that I picked it up, regardless of the amount that I picked it, I picked it up for. I'm over it now. <laughs> it's already too late. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this one because we are doing a Christmas edition, a Christmas sneaker profile remixes on right here on this one, particularly the Nike LeBron Seven Christmas colorway. Now let's take a look at this beautiful shoe up close okay so gorgeous shoe i love the materials that were that were used on this shoe just a beautiful amount of details on this one you know back then this was the time of the flywire that that amazing technology for nike at that time they were just pretty much using it on on pretty much all signature basketball shoes but also just on basketball shoes in general but let's take a look at this one though i mean gorgeous shoe so right here we see that love it i love the materials on this one look at that beautiful nice that cranberry color red um this was at the time when lebron was playing on the Cavs, so this probably went with his his outfit at the or his uniform at the time but look at that beautiful leather that cranberry color and that cranberry color runs throughout the the mud guard and the toe box of the shoe and it goes throughout the entire lateral uh, lateral side of the shoe so gorgeous part on that as you can see that beautiful i love this air unit when it comes to the seven but huge air unit that goes through uh pretty much a 360 around the around the shoe um also you have this nice fly wire when it comes to the side panel this beautiful metallic silver painted nike swoosh but you do have that nice cranberry color, but then it fades into that black, that gradient as far as the fly wire goes, and it just gets darker and darker as you go towards the rear part of the shoe. Um, up top, you do have that beautiful, nice leather that continues from the toe box, but it goes through throughout the upper part of the shoe. And as you can see, it does go from that nice cranberry, but it fades, fades into that black all through the upper part of the ankle support. I love this hit though, this nice metal hit when it comes for the shoelaces um, to go underneath. I love that, just a beautiful touch on that. Now let's take a look at the rear part. You got more of that beautiful, look at that. This is actually a nice midsole 
in that nice cranberry color. It kind of looks like the leather, to be honest with you, but it's really the midsole, the rubber part of the midsole right here. But you do have a, just above that, that nice cranberry color of leather. I love that. The nice medallion hit right there, the L23. And then if you could see that really close, you do have a nice green crown right there. Now let's take a look at the, the rear part. You do have that continuation of the bubble, but also you do got a nice hit. Also a little nice transition for the midsole. I forgot to mention that on the midsole right here, it is in that all black. Um, no, I'm, I'm sorry, the outsole. The outsole is all black and it continues on to the rear part, ending right there, and it picks up on that nice cranberry color outsole as well. Cranberry color insole or uh, air unit. You do have this beautiful right here when it comes to the midsole right here and that cranberry color, and then you also have that J for James right there. Above that, you do have that beautiful cranberry color leather. Great cut of leather when I when it comes to this shoe. I mean, I cannot talk enough about the quality of this shoe. Great materials and just beautiful as far as the colorway goes. But you can see that you do got that cranberry leather and then it fades into that nice black leather. You do also have that nice cranberry colored stitching that goes throughout the, the shoe as well. I forgot to mention that on even on the uh, lateral side of the shoe. Let's take a look at the medial part. Medial part looks completely different as your lateral part, right? Before we have that fat Nike swoosh, that metallic silver, but right here, they did give us a nice smaller swoosh. And it's not painted, it is just a sewn in, but you do also have that nice fly wire, that cranberry color from the very beginning and then fading into the black, which is beautiful. Love it, all that nice stitching in that cranberry color. You can really see that cranberry color stitching when in that black leather. So that's beautiful. Nice L23, huge hit right here on this nice window of the medial side. And then you also have that green crown. Love it. But you do also have that nice cranberry leather that goes throughout pretty much throughout the toe box of the shoe. But also it does fade into the upper part of the ankle support in that black leather. Great touch with that. Also, you still have that nice metal um, metal part for the uh, laces, which is still a great touch. All that beautiful cranberry colored mids um, air unit, but also that nice black outsole continuation to the front part of the shoe. Look at that front though. That front is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Not a big high top person, but with this shoe, it's just beautiful to me. But you see that front part, look at that 20 right there, the 20 hit right there. So gorgeous hit. Let's take a look at the the outsole of the shoe. Beautiful outsole. A lot of, I mean, I literally only wore this shoe probably like twice to be honest with you. But you see that black cranberry hit. Love that little medallion right there. It does have LeBron James if you can see that. Beautiful touch with that hologram. Now let's take a look at, man, beautiful shoe. Definitely got to get this one out. But let's take a look at the aerial view because that is my favorite part of this shoe is the aerial view. Look at that. Beautiful, right? The nice cranberry color toe box. Nice hit, but then it, it stops right here and it goes into that all black mesh tongue. You do got that nice LeBron hit right there on the shoelaces. You do got that nice soft black shoelaces. You do got a nice right there LeBron James signature right there with the uh, metallic swoosh but this is in that fly wire but you have that black upper and then it transitions into that nice cranberry color so just matching basically the the uh, side panels and the, the lateral and the medial side panels of the shoe but let's take a look at this though so we do got the nice shoelaces nothing going on here just your standard shoelaces but you do have that L23 on them but let's take a look at the insole of the shoe because if you look really hard, that is LeBron. He does have a green crown, um, but that's him as a kid during Christmas, probably opening up some presents, something like that. But just a very cool shoe. Love this shoe. Um, like I mentioned, I mean, I wish I didn't pay the high for it. Unfortunately, I made that mistake with that one. Um, basically, it taught me a lesson, though, because now I never buy LeBrons when they first come out. I kind of just let it sit there, and eventually they come to below uh, retail price so that's the sad part I mean 
great shoe. I mean, qual the quality of this shoe is just gorgeous. Great leather, great colorway, um, comfortable from, from what I remember as far as me putting this on foot, but just, it's just too bad. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm sure we all can, we all know, I mean, if we're a true sneakerhead, we know like where that line used to be at and now where it's at now. So basically they don't go for much. Um, but that, that right there is just a classic LeBron shoe, but also in that beautiful colorway from the Christmas uh, time of 2009. From 2009, can you believe that? We're already way far from that time frame. Uh, this shoe already got retro 10 years later, 2019. From what I remember though, in that retro, I want to say it's pretty much the identical shoe as this one. So if you could get your hands on that, or if you want to get your hands on it, yes, go after the 2019 because it's literally, from what I remember, identical to the 2009 version. But regardless, gorgeous shoe. But you know what? There, there goes that one. <laughs> A beautiful way to open up this sneaker profile remix when it comes to Christmas shoes in the FC Sneaker Factory. I mean, I got a ton of shoes, but these are the specific five that I picked to showcase when it came to that live back in 2021, but also to showcase on those sneaker profiles and specifically with this one, this was sneaker profile 65. But don't worry, in a couple of days, we be, we'll be back with another one. So just go ahead and sit tight. In the meantime, you will get a short on this one tomorrow. Of course, I got to bring you some Christmas related shoe, uh, Christmas related songs to go with this particular shoe. So just be on the lookout for that. That will be dropping in no time. But you know what? I already know with Christmas literally just around the corner, when I give all my cheerleaders their gifts and when I get received the gifts from them, I already know what I'm going to hear. Those beautiful words and they just never get old. Floyd, Mr. Wonderful, God, thank you for my gift. And you are too. Damn.